Warning, stay tuned to learn how to survive this encounter with killer clowns from outer space. Picture this, you see a circus tent in the distance. As you get closer, you realize it's not an ordinary circus. It's a spaceship disguised as a big top tent, full of killer alien clowns who have come to harvest humans for food. They're heading into town for a full banquet. From cotton candy cocoons to hungry shadow puppets, they can kill you just by simply clowning around. Will you and your friends stop them for good, or will you be turned into clown food? You'd better pay attention, or you'll end up like this. Good evening, psychos and Scream Queens, and welcome to How to Survive, a show about making it out of your favorite horror movies without getting brutally murdered. I'm Julia Jolly, and with me as always is our other horror hostess. <laughs> Kate Mancini, I'm oh, a clown. No, no! no! Stab that like button down below if you think you'll make it out alive. And if you think you're a killer clown, then kill yourself. Yeah! <laughs> Killer clowns from outer space! Whoa, shit! I love clowns! I love when that shitty cop goes, Killer clowns from outer space? I love that movie. Before we get into what we think about the movie, can I first start off with saying there are two guys in this that, as far as we know, they make, make out, out with, with two, two clowns clown women with expanding with ex boobs. inflatable boobs. We're also doing this because coming out later this year is the Killer Clowns video game, mm -hmm. which is, I think, our only new Killer Clowns anything we've gotten since the film. What do you think of the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space? It's a silly movie and it's very cool. And I like it a lot. It's I awesome. I love the way the clowns look. Yeah, the clowns, they're scary. We, we watched this movie last night and every time the clown would like turn to the camera, he's too close to me. This is actually the movie that got me into horror movies clowns, as a kid. Clowns, you like them now and you no. think they're hot. Before I say anything else, can I just run all the different clown names by you? Yeah. Okay. Let me, give me, give There's Baldo, me. Mm -hmm. Bash, Bippo, Bibbo, mm -hmm. Baco, Chubby, Crinkles, Danny, Dunk, Fatso, Fatso's brother, mm. female killer clown, so the two ones that kiss, yep. Frank, Hefty, Jumbo. There's a lot of ones that are just, we're going to call them fat. Kilbo, Magori, Mojo. Yeah, baby, yeah. Rudy, Shorty, Slam, Slim, Slumbo, Spiky, Storefront. Is Storefront named Storefront or is he just a clown who stands outside of the storefront? Nope. Halls, Tiny, and of course, we also have Jojo the Clownzilla. That guy's cool. I love this movie. I love how silly it is. The matte paintings are great. The set design is great. The costumes are great. So cheesy, so silly. I love that the clowns do clown things to kill people. Mm -hmm. And what's our Austin Powers tie-in? I don't remember. Did we figure one out? I figured it out right now going through clown names, and it's Mojo! Yeah! Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, baby, yeah. My Mojo! Oh, no. My clown named Mojo is gone. Remember that one happens in the Spy Who Shagged Me? Does that happen in this movie or Spy Who Shagged Me? Um, I don't know, but can you just remind me? What's the story? Mm -hmm. God. So, there's a big circus tent spaceship, and now it's on Earth. And there's some scary clowns, and they're going around. They're killing a bunch of people. They're fucking turning them into cotton candy. And then we have our main characters, and they're like, what the hell? There's clowns. They're trying to figure this shit out. They're trying to get rid of the clowns. They're trying to stop them from turning everyone into cotton candy. And then, you know, the clowns, they just go around. They turn all these people into cotton candy. The girl gets kidnapped, and they got to save her. And there's a cop that's a piece of shit, and then there's a cop that helps them, you know. And then, in the end, there's a big clown, and a couple guys fuck a couple clowns. Big clowns do some stomping, and then they blow up the clowns. And then they get pie dripped on them. Killer clowns! Killer clowns! From outer space! I think that's what happens in that movie. <laughs> If you're here, we have a rating system for each of our kills from one to five bones based on how survivable the kills are. One bone you're dead, two bones are unlikely to survive, three bones is a 50-50 chance, four bones is easy to survive with still a chance of death, and five bones, if you die, you're stupid, and you should have been killed by a freaking stupid clown. Yep. 
Hong Kong fat. Fat ass. Yep. So our first kill, since Katie said we're counting these now, it's Pooh Bear the Bloodhound. Yep. This dog is weird. It's stretched <laughs> out and gets killed. <laughs> anyway, the dog is killed off screen by Jumbo the Clown. This is a one bone for this dog. Yeah. Let's it, speed through this because we actually have 89 we kills. We have a lot in this, of kills to do. Um, estimated. So I'll, I'll I'll get into why the kills are so high in a minute, but just for now, we'll go to the next kill, which has Farmer Gene Green, played by Roy. Dano, who is shot by touching on the tent wires and then shot with a cotton candy gun by Jumbo the Clown. He is now cotton candy tragically. How to survive? I have here written, uh... Run away from scary tents? Well, he wants his dog back. Yeah, don't miss your dog. There's really no chance to get away here. I feel like it's a one. It's a one. Our next kill is actually in this big room filled with a bunch of cotton candy people. You'll learn here that we are counting every little cotton candy the parcel because that is a dead body. Mm -hmm. Every single one of those died off screen. Our off screen kills are always ones, so we're adding a lot of ones to the tally here. So our next kill is Joe Lombardo, played by Johnny Martin, who is found in a cotton candy cocoon. So that is a one, along with 13 other, from what I can count, cotton candy victims who are off screen turned into those cocoons, and those are also ones. Yes, a bunch of ones. So our next kill is after the clowns go into town and it's puppet show dude played by Randy Doak who is shot with a cotton candy gun by Spike after watching a puppet show. So, I think when we watched the movie, we were like... We thought that this man thought rape was funny. Because it looks like it. But he actually thinks that killing rapists is funny. And that is funny, mm -hmm. so... And he also looks like Neville from iCarly. Yeah. So it's a one. Because he looks like Neville? Yep. He did rue the day. Our right. next kills are the two women at a pharmacy who are put into cotton candy cocoons off screen after getting tricked... Into walking inside. Into walking in there. Because a big clown looked like a statue. And that clown is Rudy the Clown. They are off-screen deaths and they got tricked and it's a one for each of them. It's a one. Our next kill is, oh, Pizza Girl who is shot with a cotton candy gun by Shorty. What's your way to survive? Run away. She kind of has a couple seconds mm -hmm. to run away. I still think she would have died but she does have those few seconds so I... The shot where she does die she looks like she's like chill with the clowns. Yeah, she's kind of just like, damn, these clowns are standing here, whatever. Is she waiting around because it's like, oh, well, I better get my pizza. Yeah. You know there's no pizza because there's, There's a, a clown, clown in, in there. there. Unless the clown stand it on the pizza. But also, I would think funny little trick. So it's a two. Uh, yeah, it's a two. I think it's a two. Our next kill is Mrs. Franco, played by Adele Prune, who is off screen shot with a cotton candy gun by Fatso. At least it's, it's implied. We, mm -hmm. we don't see her dead body. Maybe she could have gotten away, but we're counting it anyway. So... She thinks someone got her a gift. I, I don't know why she thinks that these horrifying monster clowns are like just silly like birthday clowns. It's an evil, scary alien. But but mm -hmm. she thinks it's funny, clowns. She could have closed the door, but maybe she did and she's alive. Yeah. But anyway, one off screen. Yep. Our next kill is Slug, played by Michael Halton, whose head is punched off by Shorty after he's been weird wanting to fight him. Yeah, this guy gets what he fucking deserves. No one else in this yeah. scene dies. Don't he's be a, a dick. bitch. He's a piece of shit. He makes one of the clowns cry. Fuck oh. him. Don't be mean to the scary Don't clown. Don't be mean to the scary clown. Toxic masculinity, zero. Yeah. Clowns, one. In Bones, five. Yup. Our next kill, this person does not die at this point. This person dies off screen, so you know what it is. It's Bob McCreed, played by Christopher Titus, who is turned into a cotton candy cocoon. Off screen, his death is confirmed by Mike Jeep. Tobacco. We see his glasses. Mm -hmm. We are also counting from what I could count from the opening scene, because that's where he was, the 10 other teens that were making out up there. That means that there are 11 teens? Yes. One person didn't get anyone to make out with. Holy shit. They're all turned into cotton candy cocoons and they're all ones because they're off screen. Yeah. So our next kill is Mr. Myers. That could have been our tie-in. Oh shit. Another tie-in. Played by Howard Malpas, who is off screen killed by Rudy. He could have left at any time. Yeah. He doesn't know that they're evil, but he could have left. He could have assumed. He literally sees them wreak havoc in a store like little, yes. like, but also they're doing like minion chaos. Doesn't he see the two other people get turned into cotton candy? Well, we don't, we don't see that happen, so we don't know, but I could assume. He at least knows that there were two people in here and now there are two clowns in here. 
and that's enough to get me out of the building. Well, maybe they thought they put on clown suit. That's weird. These two people that were in my building are now walking around wreaking havoc in clown costumes. I think it's too mean to give this one a five. So I think I'm it's giving a, it a four. four. Yep. Because I think there's a chance he would have just died anyways. Definitely. But also, he just stood there for so long. Our next kill is Joe, another guy named Joe, who's a driver. Hey, Peter, I'm driving. Whose car is crashed by Slim after he sees Slim on an invisible bike. Yeah, what do you, what way do you have to survive this? Reverse. reverse, reverse. What's your way? Turn a little bit. He gets like knocked into and then there's like a full like five seconds where he's just speeding towards a cliff and instead of like stopping, reversing, swerving, he just goes, ow! I have hit the brakes because the clown is going the exact speed as him. So, well, we don't know the logistics of clown bike. True. So clown bike could stop instantly, but I feel like he could have taken some sort of action. So I have it as a two. That sounds, yeah, that's good. Okay. Our next kill is the big top burger employee. Burger boy. Who is pulled into a dumpster to his death after hearing the popcorn make little bird sounds. Yep. Never be curious, I guess, in well, your life. Well, okay, listen. It sounds like birds, but it could also be like a wild animal. It could be a fuck and raccoon and he's just like sticking his head in there even if that wasn't like an alien thing it could have been an animal does that he stick his head him. in there or is he like sucked in he sticks his head in there a little bit and then he gets sucked in it's a two yeah our next kills are five bus stop people who are eaten by a shadow puppet t-rex by slim and turned into popcorn or turned into cotton candy things yeah later who knows my way to survive this is to never be entertained by an amazing <laughs> I have you written, how would I know that a shadow could eat me? Know that logic is about to be defied. If you're standing at another angle, does the shadow come out of the wall? Yes. Okay. It's a one. It's a one. Our next kill is Sergeant Curtis Mooney, played by John Vernon, whose head is slammed against a cell by Jumbo. Crazy that that kills him immediately. I want to give him a five because he's a dick, but he's a piece of shit. these clowns kill everyone mm -hmm. and I think he would have died anyway. He's a piece of shit. Don't lock up the clown obviously. He doesn't know the clown's like an evil monster until about 30 seconds before his death. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a four. I also have it as a four. Our next kills are the two punks that are arrested by Curtis Mooney, played by Aaron McIntyre and Danny Kovacs, who are off screen, put in cotton candy cocoons, and then found by Dave Hansen. This is a horrifying death. They are trapped in there with a monster. Yeah, it's not their fault in any way. They're arrested unlawfully. They're trapped in a monster unlawfully, killed by a monster that's scary after he kills the cop once. It's a one. Our next kills are 15 parade victims who are off-screen put into cotton candy cocoons. By the way, if you want to contest me on this, right now we're not counting the guy hiding under the car as one of those because James A. I'm Janice. James A. Janice. Fuck you. Just kidding. We love you, James. But you missed one of them. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight the cocoons I see and put a little number next to them so you can count along with me, all right? So in the first shot, there's one in the far distance. Look, it's right there. Whoa, what the hell? It's right there. Anyway, off-screen. These are ones. They're all ones. Our next kill is a guy hiding under the car. Yep. He also then is not hiding under the yep. car. He shot with a cotton candy gun by Joe, the name of a clown. And also the name of two other characters in this movie and a guy mm -hmm. from Family Guy. Hi, bitch. I don't know. He he really yeah, runs immediately. That's so stupid. They don't see him and he just like runs. I think this is like, this is, this is crazy. Even behavior. on the wiki, it says the poor fellow hiding under the car would have had a definitely better chance of surviving should he have chosen to wait longer for the clowns to pass by. But I also have to say him hiding is not a, a guarantee that he would have lived. That's true. Because these clowns, they got those balloon dogs that can sniff you out. There's a good chance he still would have died. Oh, yeah. We have it's a three, I think. I, I agree. It's a 50-50 chance for this guy. Yeah. Our next kill is security officer Harrison, played by David Peel, who is melted with a bunch of cream pies. Ooh, that sounds like pies. your dream. I love when he goes, what are you going to do with those pies, boys? I do love when he says that. I also love when he died in the line of duty. He's a hero, in my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, more than any cop, more than Sergeant Dumb Bitch, you know? This this is tragic. It's a one. He could have shot the clowns, well. He could have shot them with his gun. He, he has. didn't know they were evil. He yeah, it's a one. It's yeah. a one. I, I, I agree. Our next kills, this is a bit unconventional. I did a little bit of math. And also, this is a very rough.
rough estimate because it is near impossible to count these. I get why the kill count does not count these, but as far as what I can tell, there are 25 other cotton candy victims in the spaceship. I, I counted all of those and then I subtracted the ones we've seen earlier, plus every other victim I'm assuming has been put into a cotton candy cocoon, including the little doggy, but not the guy who melted. But anyway, those are all ones and that's 25 ones. So let's see what the average survivability Wait, is. Wait, hold on. Oh, we actually have three more kills that oh, we're all putting them really? in one and they are our main characters, Mike Tobacco, Dave Hansen, and Debbie Stone, played by Grant Kramer, John Allen Nelson, and Suzanne Snyder, respectively. They are melted with cream pies after the movie ends. Yes, the movie freeze frames and we don't get to see it, but they are covered in that pie that killed our hero, officer, whatever his yep. name was. So therefore, they must be dead. They save the day and now they're dead. The world is cruel. It's a, a bunch of ones. So let's get to our conclusions. Our most survivable death is Slug, the mean biker who sucks ass. And we hate him. Fuck you, Slug. Die, bitch. I'm gonna knock his block off again. <laughs> Damn. Our least survivable deaths are the two punks because they've done nothing wrong. They got arrested unlawfully by the worst cop ever and then got to put in the cell with a monster. I know there's a lot of off-screen kills in this movie. We don't know the circumstances behind them. Our heroes also save the day and then die, but I think the punks have it the worst out of anyone. They don't even know about the clowns probably because they're just trapped in that cell all nope. night. So the clowns just like walk in there and they're like already in a cage with it. It's over. It's tragic. It's genuine. Genuinely sad. It's Jover. Come on now. There's a lot of guys named Joe in this. That's Jover. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Hey, Pe So I added up and averaged out all of our bones and the average survivability of this movie is 1.1 bones. So if you're in this, you are dead. You're, you're a dead, dead person. Every single person Everyone in this dies. movie dies. Even our main characters die, even if you didn't know it. So the killer clowns from outer space have now come to your town and they're wreaking havoc. How do you survive? We'll tell you. Run away. A lot of people in this movie spend a little too long looking at these scary clowns. So long that they don't escape their eventual demise. Don't get distracted or fall for their tricks. I mean, they don't know that the clowns are scary, so it's pretty easy to fall for a trick because it's a trick. But, you know, you try not falling like for it. I feel like I know the clowns were scary by looking at them. That's true. They're horrifying monsters, so they're scary you actually hell. should be scared of them. Don't be a jackass. Whether you're part of a rough and tough biker gang or just the worst cop in the world, don't be an unnecessary jackass. It just might save your life. Stupid idiots yeah. in this movie die don't for be stupid reasons. A mean fucking yeah. person. Don't be so mean for no reason. Don't be rude. You love the cop though. You think he's sexy. I don't. You love the no. biker guy. You think he's sexy. No. Fuck Mary Kill, the biker guy, mm -hmm. the cop, all the clowns. Oh shit, okay. Kill the cop, marry the biker guy, and then fuck all the clowns. You would. Aim for the nose. If all else fails, aim for the nose to blow them up. It's too bad more people don't know that's like I a know. thing you can do. Cop could have done it. Everyone could have done, done it. That. Yeah. Shitty cop could have done it. I could have done it. Another episode of How to Survive has come to a close. You've survived this encounter, hopefully, but to ensure you never get left on the cutting room floor, hit that subscribe button and double tap that bell button so you don't miss any future survival guides. Head over to patreon.com slash just really creepy for early access and exclusive bonus content that's sure to scare. And do you have what it takes to survive the killer robot Megan? To find out, click the video on screen now before it's too late. <laughs> You think the clowns are hot? I don't. You want to want to have you sex with them? You told me you wanted to fuck No, them. I didn't say you that. Told me. You said it. We got it on recording right now. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter.